Dave knows how. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to do a little bit of tractor maintenance. And this is going to be a little bit different than your typical tractor maintenance. On this particular Kubota, my L2800, we recently hit 800 hours on this machine. And according to the owner's manual, when you reach 800 hours, the service one of the service intervals is to adjust the valves. So I decided to go ahead and pull this muffler off. Um, I wasn't really sure, you know, I don't know that this is actually required or not. It didn't say to take this off in the book, but looking at it, I think it will make this job a little bit easier. I do need to get something to plug this hole so don't nothing drop down into this exhaust port. But I sprayed these bolts last night with PB Blaster. Y'all know how much I like this stuff. Anyway, I sprayed them bolts down with some PB Blaster. And they seem to break loose. And seem to be coming on off of there. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this muffler off of here. Holy smokes, what a nightmare. Sheesh. Well, you know, whatever the dealership charges to do this, it's probably worth it. I mean, seriously. We really need to support our local dealerships. You don't come to appreciate what they do until you take on something like this. Um, this is a lot of work. Uh, just to, you know, get in there and make sure those valves are not out of adjustment. Um, okay. So I don't know if you can even see what's going on here or not. But there's a bolt all the way back here in the back that we couldn't get to. And now we can get to that bolt. It's a 10 millimeter. We find a 10 millimeter socket.
I think that was the tightest one on here. All right, and then that one's already off. I think all the rest of them, yep, all the rest of them are loose. So we was able to get them all off except for that one. And now, let's see. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And there's the cover. And she's off of there. I'm gonna set that back there out of the way. Look at all them goodies. So these are the valves that we need to adjust. My hands are filthy. So I'm going to go get a rag and get my hands cleaned up. And we're going to see if we can find a socket to turn the crank. Because... Um, that's going to be the only way to turn it. Alright, let me get a... Let me get a pair of gloves, uh, clean my hands up maybe, uh, so I don't get dirt down in this engine. Let me, let me go get a rag, clean rag. Okay, so we're going to check these valves now. It was a lot of work to get this thing down to where we need it. Anyway, I've got a great big socket on it. This is actually an inch and seven eighths. But I believe what this thing really takes is a 46 millimeter. There's a big nut on the end of the crankshaft right at the front of the tractor near the radiator. There's a spline down there. I'll put a picture of what that looks like or a little video clip of what that looks like. And we're going to put this socket on there. Okay, so that we can rotate and turn this engine over. We've got our dial indicator up on here, and we've placed it on one of the valves that's the furthest open. In other words, it's the rod over here is pushed up, and the spring is compressed, and that's pushed down. And we're going to rotate the engine in the clockwise position. If you're looking at the engine from the very front, looking towards the driver's seat, we're going to rotate this clockwise. And you can see that dial is moving. It moved off zero. Now we're going to move it counterclockwise. And it goes back to zero. We're going to move it counterclockwise a little more and now you can see it's going to the right so let's go back the other way clockwise it goes to zero and it goes let's see where's it gonna go just a little past zero so let's read zero this and now if we keep going clockwise it should start to come up okay so now it's starting to go back up so let's go back the other way till it gets to zero and now we know that this valve is fully compressed and we can now measure this valve so we'll get a feeler gauge out Make sure it's clean. This is a 0 0.007, which is the same as an 18 millimeter. And it slides up in there. Very, very slight drag. Let's see what the next size up is that we have. 
So the next size up we have is a 20 millimeter. So it jumps from an 18 to a 20 millimeter. We're going to see if the 20 millimeter will go in there. And the 20 millimeter will not go. It will go on the far side over here, but it will not go all the way through. Okay? It will not go all the way through. So I think that's about where we want that thing adjusted. That's pretty good. So now we would go through each one of these, rotating the engine with that socket. Very slowly we're going to rotate the engine in the clockwise position. And we'll rotate it around until and we'll look for the next valve that goes down. The next valve that pushes down, we're going to measure the valve adjacent to it. So this is a three cylinder diesel. So these first two are number one cylinder, number two cylinder, number three cylinder. Right now we've got this one compressed. We're adjusting this one. We'll rotate the engine around clockwise, facing the front of the engine. The very next one, it goes down. If this one over here goes down and compresses, then we'll measure this one and adjust it. Then we'll rotate it again and see which one goes down until we do them all. Okay? And, you know, if you need to take and put a little piece of tape on each one as you do it, or take a magic marker and mark it, mark on it with some magic marker as it's been done so you know that it's been done you know that's what you need to do anyway um, we've adjusted them all we did find two that were slightly out of calibration this valve right here allowed a let me see if I can remember which what, what it was. Did it let through there? It allowed a 28 millimeter uh, to go up in there. And the max that it should allow in there is a 0 .22. I'm sorry. 0.22 millimeter is the max it should allow through there and it allowed a 0.28 millimeter to go in there so um, you know that's a little bit out of spec um, I adjusted it down to the lower end down to around 18.8 18 millimeter is where I adjusted it to each one of these valves so um, hopefully hopefully I did it right <laughs> well the tractors back together and it's running however that did not solve the issue I was going at. So there was two things that prompted me to get in here and adjust these valves. The first thing was the tractor's at 800 hours and according to the manufacturer's book and the shop manual at 800 hours the valves need to be adjusted. The other thing was I was hearing this peculiar rattle coming from somewhere and it sounded like it may possibly be coming from a loose valve. So that prompted me to go ahead, turn this thing down, check the valves, and adjust them. I did find two that were out of adjustment. I adjusted them, put the tractor completely back together, and that rattle is still there. So we've got a little ways further to go. Now, I did that video back probably the end of the summer and it's taken me this long to get it up 
there's a lot going on here in my life okay so as you guys know i take care of my mother she's 89 years old she has dementia diabetes uh high blood pressure heart disease heart failure it's uh it's a fun day around here a lot of days um this morning for example uh about five o'clock in the morning i heard something went to go check on her and found her somehow unconscious with a blood sugar level of 26. okay so for you guys that don't know anything about diabetes 26 is extremely low okay that's um getting into diabetic coma okay pretty basically um fortunately uh this is not a new hat for me okay i've been doing this for many 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 years i went on and administered to her the things that needed to be done got her brought back around uh, fixed our big breakfast and we had an early breakfast so um she seems to be doing better now but you know when you couple that with dementia and her dementia is not real extreme it is the early stages of dementia but it's still some dementia there you know and um some of the things that she does and says can be quite annoying <laughs> to say the least but hey you know you you try to put on a happy face and you deal with these things as they come along i can only hope that when i'm her age that i'm doing as well as she's doing and i have somebody that cares enough about me to look after me the best that they can like i'm trying to do for her and i'm sure in many ways i fail miserably um but hey i'm i'm doing i'm doing the best i can do it has taken its toll on me <laughs> i'll be the first to admit um anyhow that's why there hasn't been any videos um i needed to get this back together and i've got a lot going on okay i didn't solve the problem with the tractor i have figured out what the problem is and in the next video i'm going to show you guys what i found and what we're going to have to do next to get this problem resolved and i'm going to introduce you to a new uh, tool that i bought to check this problem and you may want to invest in one of these tools to check your tractor as well especially if it gets on up to the 800 hour mark okay all right so enough of this we're going to cut this video right here because it's already gone on too long i appreciate you guys hanging with me standing by me supporting me believe me i could not do this without the moral and emotional support that i get from so many of you guys seriously don't forget to rate comment and subscribe Thanks for watching.